Hello everybody, my name is Greybeard Crowfather. You all might know me as Gone of the Woods on Reddit. Um, I promised that I would actually be doing a video tonight, so I am getting this one up. And it's going to be a little bit late, and I apologize about that. But the camera that I was planning on using is um, pretty bad quality, so I just decided to get rid of it and go with the phone. I'll... Um, get another camera and better lighting down the road here. I just wanted to get this series started so everybody has something to look forward to each video. So let's get this started. Um, I am the high priest of a group in the Western New York area called the Sylvan Shadow Circle. Um, I call us a circle. Some people call us a coven. I've been practicing Wicca for 35 years. I'm 50 years old. Um, and I decided that I wanted to do this series because I see a lot of information out there that's bad and incorrect. Um, on Reddit, Alan from Wales and uh, Spiral Breeze also seem to be doing some similar type of stuff. Though I know Spiral Breeze does Discord I don't care to use Discord, so that's why I'm doing this video series. All right, so let's get started here. Um, when you're learning and starting how to do and take part in the Wiccan religion, first and second steps are as follows. Avoid TikTok like the plague. You're going to get nothing but bad information there. I've seen it too many times. I keep telling people to just stay off of it. Don't get your information from TikTok. Um, you're getting all kinds of just terrible, terrible info. One of the things that is the worst that I can see is that people are calling themselves baby witches. You're not a baby witch. If you're beginning Wicca, then you're a beginner witch or a seeker or a new witch or just which. If you were beginning Buddhism, you wouldn't call yourself a baby Buddhist. Or if you were converting to Judaism, you wouldn't call yourself a baby Jew now, would you? No. So don't call yourself baby witch. It's a dumb name for wherever they got it from. Don't use it. Second, I see a lot of posts about people trying to find their patron and matron gods and goddesses. That's a load of crap. Um, there is no need to do that when you start Wicca or witchcraft or paganism. All you need to worry about is the goddess and the god in their basic forms. Goddess and god, that's it. Nature, the world around you, um, life, everything. Don't worry about finding a patron goddess or patron god. It's not necessary. In all the years that I've been doing this, I've had one... God reached out to me once. Um, and that was Thor, and it came to me in a dream. And I, I honor him, but I don't worship him. And that's the other thing. We don't worship our gods and goddesses. The Christians worship their God. We work with our goddess and our gods. They work with us and through us. We don't live to serve or worship them. I'm going to keep this first video really short tonight because I have um, a lot of material I'm going to be trying to get together. Um, with the basic series here, I'm going to tell you um, what you should probably be reading. It's not that you have to read it. You should read it so you can get an idea of what the basics of Wicca are and get a good, strong foundation going. Um... I'm going to grab a couple books here, so I'm going to point them out to you, and then um, at the end of this video, I'm actually going to have you do a homework assignment, so you'll, you'll see what that's all about at the end. All right. So, the first book that I always recommend for new people is Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Pr Practitioner from Scott Cunningham. Very good primer for somebody starting out. It will give you the best basics. Um, gives you rituals. It gives you a small part of Scott Cunningham's Book of Shadows. Um, 
trust me, this is your best um, step into the world of Wicca. Um, if you do not have or cannot get a copy of this, let me know. I can help you out. Second one I recommend highly is the Wicca Bible by Amory Gallagher. This, in combination with the Guide for the Solitary Practitioner, will give you a real good, solid foundation of what Wicca is and what it's all about. That one I can't help you with. You'll have to get that one on your own. But the, the Solitary Guide for Practitioner, I can help you if you if you need it. You just, just contact me on Reddit, Gone to the Woods. So what I want to do throughout this course is give you everything in addition to those um, what you're going to learn in the book. We'll go over altars, when you need them, if you need them, why you need them. Uh, we'll go over magic and spells. Um, you know, how to write your own spells for what you're doing. Uh, coven learning or solitary, we'll go over that, what you think might be best for you. Um, if you're in an area where you cannot get books, but um, there's the possibility of being uh, to able to meet somebody for um, that's a pagan or a Wiccan in a local metaphysical shop, if you have any around, uh, visit them. I highly, highly suggest them because you may actually be able to find a group that's taking students and they will, you know, more than likely take you under their wing and, and show you. Or if they can't, they might be able to direct you to someone who can. Um, that's really all I have for right now. I'm sorry this video is so short. Um, like I said, I have a lot of material that I want to prepare for everybody. And... I want to have it so that, you know, it's right at my side here. I have never actually done a YouTube video in my life before, and I just want to make sure I'm doing it right with the um, best intentions and the best knowledge that I can present to you. So, with that said, here's your homework for this time. Go out into nature. Take a notebook with you. Find a nice secluded spot in the woods, preferably by a creek if you can find one. Find a nice big tree, sit down underneath that tree. Try to find a place where there's like little to no background noise. Um, I know it's kind of kind of be hard, but if you can, that would be the best um, optimum uh, type of location to go to. Sit down under that tree, close your eyes. And then just listen. Listen to the wind. Listen to the bugs. Listen to the sound of the leaves rustling. If you're by a creek, listen to the sound of the water rushing over the rocks. Those are the voices of the goddess and God talking to you. Pay attention to them. Sit there for as long as you think you'll be able to. And then when you're done... Uh, Notate how you feel and what you felt in that book, in that notebook. doesn't have to be any specific length. Just write down what you felt and how you feel after it. So, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I will have more information. We'll start out. We'll, we'll, I'll break down, you know, everything. We'll go start at a basic level and build up from there as we go along. So, signing off for tonight, this is Greybeard Crowfather. Blessed be, everyone.